I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. All right, last time I was here, I found a very interesting uh, painting or a mural under this bridge right here. So I'm going to show you it. We're very occultic. Let's take a look, shall we? And I have an idea. I have an idea who made it. See, this is what sparked my attention when I was going down here. So I was looking at that, y'all seeing eye. Then I turn around and oh, what is this? Very occultic thing. Life is a bliss. Look, they got Fibonacci sequence all over. Y'all seeing eye, a reptilian. Looks like a reptilian. But we all know what that is. It's Horus. Represents the sun. The intellect. I swear. I, I think. I don't know if they have Kabbalah numbers in here or not. Or if it's just some Buddhist thing. Oh, and I also noticed there's a. There's a face here. Oh, there it is. There's a face there. I don't know what that is, but. Very weird. Don't really know what that is. Is a a cat or a lion? Frog? If we not sequence again, yin and yang. Look, good and evil merging together. The knowledge of good and evil. Forming of the male and female deity. Robot. You know, this wasn't made by Luciferians or the initiates, then it was definitely made by someone who believes in them and studies them, I can tell you that. What is that? Oh wait, that's that's the male and female deity right there, joined together. Right there, just like that yin and yang. There's Allah right there. Can't tell if that's a Kabbalah number or just some Zen thing. An alien. They're fallen angels. And they're not filium. Look, it's serpent. See, this is what ties it all together. Serpent religion. This is what uh, really convinced me it was a cultic. Of course, you got the all seeing eye over there. It, they probably have almost every religion represented here but Christianity. Think about it. Of course, they love their Fibonacci sequence. Why? They say it represents the godhood inside you. But we all know that they're hypocritical because that, that points to the design of the, the person who created us. Or the creator. The avatar. Hey, look, with the, with the sun around his head. So much people are on it.
Oh, and there's a sun right there, blatant. The intellect, right next to the serpent. Now what is that? There's a fish. Some weird stuff here. Which when I was looking at this originally, When I was looking at this originally, someone came up right there, asked me what I think about this. She basically just said, or I said, it's very occultic. And she goes, well, occult simply means hidden. Look, the owl, the intellect, same thing the eye represents, the Bohemian Club. She said, oh, a cult basically means hidden. So she knows. She knows what this means. So it was surprising she came. And what she was saying. All seeing eye reference again. When I. The eye. And it's not. This is the third eye. Your pineal gland. That's what, say, that's what Satan told Eve. Your eyes shall be open. Not... Their eyes were already open. They're awake. But their third eye, the Kundalini, the serpent, opening the intellect of the hidden knowledge. All that, again, you got the moon and the sun and the star. The male and female deity of joining. I don't know what this is, maybe another representation of the, of the eye. Look, all these animals, fallen angels. I feel him. Well, I was basically talking to this lady. She was acting very weird. Eyes pitch black. I, she was possessed or something. Very weird. But... She... They asked me what I mean, what it is. I told her the owl. Oh, an owl. I was telling her all this stuff. She was agreeing with me. She you couldn't deny it. I was making my words careful. Yeah, very, very strange. Cult symbols all over this place. And oh, I'm about to show you the the secret society that's right next to this place. You're going to see it. Uh, and they got the sun right there. Right next to the serpent. Yeah. They, got a, they got a Hindu god right next to Allah. This is a cultic. Straight up. I mean, of course... Yin and Yang, joining of the good and evil of the fe female and male deity, polar opposites. That's what the sun and the moon represents. Ah. Now let me show you that secret society that's right out here that that lady was most likely a part of. You're gonna see it. And here we are at the Unitarian Society. Look at that. See, this whole city is like a gay subculture. Of course they have triangles. The uh, Unitarian Society was founded by, I think, a 32nd degree Freemason. And I, if I'm not mistaken, he was also a uh, Jesuit. For, for those of you who don't know, Ron Paul was also a part of this society, as well as a Freemason.
Look at the look at the way it's structured. You got the oh all seeing eye and the pyramid. Creepy. Very. This is uh also known as the John Birch Society. That may get you guys more familiar about the society. They're they're known to be racist. Though all members of the Illuminati are racist. Although yeah, as you said, I saw I said I'll welcome, but you know that's a lie. Of course, they're liars and deceivers and manipulators. That's their religion. Look at how it's structured. And look. Moon and the stars right there, male and female. Very interesting, huh? Very interesting. You can tell. This is the way it's structured. It was made by the builders of walls. Freemasons.